This is lesson two, using Office applications together. In this lesson, we'll modify a flyer in Word that has a dual purpose. We'll be able to send it in the mail to our potential clients. And we'll be able to save it as a web document so that we can post it on the internet as a web page. In this lesson, we'll show you how to create a logo in PowerPoint and add it to a Word flyer. Insert and edit an Excel worksheet in a Word document and add a task in Outlook. In this topic, you'll learn how easy it is to create a simple logo in PowerPoint and include it in a Word document. I think you'll like this. We'll open our file with the Open Office Document button. We click on it and select our file, Promotional Brochure, by double-clicking on it. Our brochure still needs some work. Let's add a logo. To create a new PowerPoint drawing, we'll use the New Office Document button on the Office toolbar. When we click on it, the New Office Document dialog box opens and presents us with an assortment of document types. The tabs along the top of the dialog box offer more selections. In this way, we can choose our task and let Office choose the application. The General tab in the front offers us a choice of creating a basic document in any of the Office applications. Since we know we want to use PowerPoint, we'll choose the blank presentation icon. It's previewed in the dialog box when we select it. When we click on the OK button, PowerPoint is started and displays the new slide dialog box. Here we can select a layout for our slide. Since we're just going to create a drawing, we'll select the blank layout and click on OK. When we do, our new blank slide displays in PowerPoint. As in Word, PowerPoint has several toolbars, including a special toolbar called Common Tasks that floats in the window. The first thing we'll do is add clip art to our drawing. We'll search the clip gallery to find just the right piece of artwork. We'll use the Insert Clip Art button to open the clip gallery. When we click on it, the gallery opens. We can choose from clip art, pictures, which are actual photos, sounds, and even videos. Each clip in this gallery has keywords that describe it. These will help us locate the clip art we want without having to look through all 3,000 plus clips. We can even connect to the internet and look up more free clip art on Microsoft's web gallery site. Being able to connect to the web gallery really expands our possibilities. We want to find something that looks like ivy for our drawing. We'll look for art with the keyword vines in it. We click on the find button and type Vines. Click on the Find Now button and PowerPoint looks for all the artwork that contains the keyword Vine. This one looks good. We'll double click on it to select it and place it in our drawing. PowerPoint automatically displays the picture toolbar in case we want to make any changes to our clip art. When we deselect the artwork, the picture toolbar closes. Next, we'll add some text to our logo using the Drawing Toolbar. We'll use the Text Box tool. We click on it, and our cursor changes to tell us it's ready to add text. We click on the screen where we want our text to appear and type Ivy. Press Enter and type Lodge. Well, that's nice, but this text would probably look better if it were bolder and maybe just a little bigger. To format all of the text at once, we select the border of the text box and click on the bold button. To enlarge this text a bit, we click on the increase font size button. There! To make our clip art and text objects behave as one, we'll group them. This will make them easier to manage. We click and drag a box around both our art and text. The handles show us that they are both selected. We click on the Draw button 
choose the group command and our artwork is grouped. We're finished creating our logo and ready to copy it to our word flyer. We'll use the copy button to copy our logo. We click on it and our logo is copied. We're done with PowerPoint for now, so we'll close it using its close box. PowerPoint presents a message asking if we want to save our file, and we do, so we click on Yes. The Save dialog box opens. We type our file name, Ivy Logo, and press Enter to accept it. PowerPoint is closed and our Word brochure is redisplayed. We'll paste our logo as a picture with the Paste Special command on the Edit menu. When we click on it, the Paste Special dialog box opens. The picture format will print better and take up less disk space. We choose the Picture option and click on OK to paste our logo. That looks great. You've seen how easy it is to create a professional looking logo using PowerPoint's drawing tools and include it in a Word document. Now may be a good time to stop and practice what you've learned.